Hey guys, we're here in the city of Homeland today with our new build specialist. Guys, this guy, he is the specialist here in this area. He's got in a ton of families in. How many families do you have in right now? I think we're like at seven right now. Seven families. We got next door neighbors moving in together. Just those, those over there? Yeah, those two. Really? <laughs> yeah, so, both of my clients. So if you have questions, we, we want to go over what the community has to offer, uh, what the homes look like, and if you're looking to buy a home out in this area, for, for a great price, what is it, low HOA? I mean, no HOA? No HOA here, tax rates 1.7. So here's the thing, we go look at a lot of, even when we start at resale homes, we go look at other communities. It just always makes sense here because of the price points, you know? We're talking low, like 440s. This house behind me, 2773. So that's the square feet, 2773 square feet is at 540. You can't get that anywhere else. No, you're gonna get like 1,400 square feet for a resale home. Actually, you know what? I'll give you a, pr a perfect example. In Riverside, KB has a community. They have a one-story 1,392 square feet. That's at 560. 560. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and this place is up and coming. They got a school right across the street. Yes. They're building out that park that they have a sign of right there. So with that park, it's gonna be a full baseball field and a full uh, soccer field. Wow. Yeah. And no HOA. And no, no HOA. And then, guys, a the big thing why my clients are moving in here, directly behind me, you have an elementary school. So everybody's like, oh, perfect. I can walk my kids to school, or even my, if you know, you have your in-laws living with you and they can walk them over. Right to this side over here across the street, you can actually see it from here, the red and the blue. That's a new high school. So your kids are gonna be all right here. The junior high is about nine minutes down the road. Nine minutes down the road. So just start thinking about that. Yeah. You're gonna have everything here for you. Perfect, well, let's go check out the models. Let's go. Should we start with the big boy first? Let's always start with the big boy, absolutely. Let's go to it. All right. Let me get that for you, sir. Oh, thank you. So Eddie, real quick on this, this one right here, what, what's like the starting price for this one? These are at 540. 540? Yeah. Starting price. That's not including upgrades, anything like that. Correct. Gotcha. All right, let's go take them out. I mean, this has to be my favorite one. It Back is. To you, sir. Let's let's just start by pointing out how big this entrance is. Yeah. It's more of a grander entrance. Yeah, and I feel like this one has higher ceilings compared to the other two. So you're right. This is a nine foot ceiling. This is an upgrade. They normally come with the eight foot ceiling. Gotcha. Eight foot yes. ceiling. I, I do like the open setting of the kitchen, living room space, dining room space. Um, and then I know our favorite thing was probably gonna be the den. The den, yes. So let's just point out like some of the stuff is upgrades, okay? Like the color of these cabinets are upgrades. This top is an upgrade. You're gonna have a white cabinet color with like a satin knob uh, finish. And then this will be more of like a salt and pepper look to it. But some of these upgrades are not that expensive to do. Like this might be like a 15 to $2,000 upgrade. Mm, okay, yeah. perfect. So going to this, yeah, this is the, this is probably the main selling point. So this whole wall here, it's either a loft or a room, but it's not an open loft. It'll open up right about here. So let's go in here and kind of break down what it would be as a bedroom and then what it would be as just a loft, okay? Perfect. Go check it out. Oh, Eddie. Okay, so this is shown as a bedroom. So you have your bedroom. You're gonna have a walk-in closet here. So we'll check this out. And then we'll kind of touch in on what this could, how it would be broken down. We'll move right over here. You're gonna have a small closet for linens. You're gonna have a full bathroom. Hey, hey at least the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, so the cool thing about this is that if it's a loft, you're not gonna have that full shower. So that whole wall is gonna be gone. This whole walk-in closet is gonna be gone. So maybe on video you won't see it as well, but us standing in here, how big would this be yeah. as just a loft? Yeah. It's huge. Really 
space. Yeah. So first thing clients say, perfect. Pool table right there or it's a movie room. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go check out the backyard. Let's go. You, sir. Thank you. All right, so this is pretty basic for, for a backyard here in Homeland. Correct. As far as size, it won't come like this, but talk a little bit about size and, and what it will look like. Okay, so this is about a 35 foot backyard. Let's point out how it's a two story. See how the two story goes up? Now, if you look over, that's a one story, okay? So this brick fence is going all the way through. The two story, you give it up that 35 feet, it's gonna be bigger because the house goes up where the one story eats more into the backyard. So that's one thing to know here is that if you are going to go with the one story, it is gonna eat into the backyard. But this is 35 feet, this is big. Explain what that means, like 35 feet. Okay, so th yeah, so what I mean by 35 feet, they measure 35 feet from the back wall to the brick fence. Okay, so this is 35 feet worth. So let's just break it down. A pool, when you go get a normal size pool, it's 15 feet by 30. So this is easily a good 40, maybe 45 feet. Yeah. Because everybody asks, can I get a pool? Yeah. So yeah, think about it. Your 15 feet would probably put you right around here and then you still have a pool. So big backyards you're gonna get here. And quick reminder guys, it, it doesn't come like this. It's gonna be like an open canvas type of thing. It's just gonna be dirt. Yes. Um, so, you know, it's not gonna have the mulch. It's not gonna have the turf. It's not gonna have the cement. Uh, it definitely won't have the furniture, um, but it's gonna be open canvas and you can do whatever you like. With Say it. that's like standard at every new construction ever. So at all new construction, Robert, actually it's a good thing you brought that up. It's gonna be just dirt back here. Yep. They're going to give you a small piece of concrete to step out. Even this concrete wouldn't be here. Uh, reason is, think about it. Everybody has a different taste. Can you imagine them trying to have packages of what would be included? How do you want your backyard? It'd oh, man, it, it'd be a mess. It'd yeah. be impossible. Yeah. So blank canvas, do as you please. The front yard does come landscape. You're going to just have the mulch. You're going to have a couple little plants. And then your rain, your uh, water system hooked up. Perfect. Yeah. So this, the big thing we were talking about here is having the community center and the elementary school and the high school, literally right there is the community center. You have parks, you have the elementary school. And then from here, if we can go up a little bit, that's the high school right there. All right. So let's go check out the inside. Let's go. Let's go check upstairs. Now we're on the second floor. So we have a loft up here as well. This stays as a loft. So this is a four bedroom that can be converted into that fifth bedroom downstairs. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. yeah. And, and then what I love about the, this, these areas here is, like this can be your actual living room when, we're, when, when you know there's a family in here. You're not gonna be downstairs all the time. Right. You're gonna be up here right before you go to bed. And then, hey, you got your masters, you got your restrooms. You still have everything. Or oh, this is just a mess up here. <laughs> don't have a mess, don't have a mess. <laughs> so, is, is this the master right here? It is the master and it's a good size after you. All right. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna stand on one side, or you go over there, and I'll stand over here. So some masters, believe it or not, even if it's a bigger house, they kind of are smaller. This one here is still a really good size. So you're over there, I'm over here. Yeah, like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't do sit-ups, but I could probably do sit-ups right here, or even have a bike. You can ha yeah, you can have a treadmill that is good as a coat hanger. I know, but I got, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm fluffy season right now, baby. Yeah. Let's go, let's go check out the, the master. I'll let you take care of that one. Okay. So can, I'm going to just be frank on this. Why I, I actually like this. This hallway, I like it. You know why? Because when you use the restroom, you ain't going to get that smell coming over here. <laughs> you got a good separation, all right? I'm going to be straight up with you guys. But you got a nice walk-in closet for the wife. And then, you know, just a regular closet for the husband. It is what it is, gentlemen. And this here, I'm in here. We got Justin in here. Robert, come in here so we can kind of break down how big of a restroom this is. Here? Wow. Yeah, right? I like it. It's a good size. I usually, what I do with my clients, if they bring their kids, I tell everybody to come in here. 
really? it'll be like five or six of us in here and they're like man you're right i don't feel crowded like there's space obviously no, everybody's not going to be in here but i'm just to show you how big your your master yeah, is you got the two sinks. yeah you got a door here i love that yep separation so yeah. this is um your shower stand-up shower and bathtub, bathtub combo I got thrown off because we don't see them that any not much anymore. Gotcha. Um, now they come just with a stand-up shower. Um, reason is I'm gonna go into it real quick. Is they did uh, surveys on them and people say that they don't want bathtubs anymore. They don't use them. I, I think about mine. I probably got a layer of dust because we don't use a bathtub. Yeah. You know. So this is an upgrade option now. If not, it'll come with the stand-up shower to about here. Gotcha. Or let's just say vice versa, and then you'll have about this much space that'll be like a linen area. Perfect. Yeah. And then your double sink, you can tell it's um, spacious. Let's go check out the rest of the rest. Uh, let's go. Bathrooms. I mean, bathroom, bedroom. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, guys, so going into the bedrooms here, um, this is your washer and dryer area. Nice built in sink here. That is an upgrade, of course, but nonetheless, it's definitely worth it. It's about $1,200. And you have your three bedrooms here and then they get to share this bathroom here all right eddie so i know you sell a lot of these homes right here man what's up with these models okay so this is the middle model here is 2542 this can actually go all the way up to six bedrooms but normally it's four bedrooms so it's a little bit smaller than the 2773 price points like real low fives so this is one that if you don't want to be you know mid fives or over this is a perfect uh one for it as well perfect Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Just do like the like the upgrade thing. I would say on the bottom, like talk about how a lot of this is basic. Okay. And then I would I would cut it there. I wouldn't go upstairs. Okay. All right. All right, so guys. we're in the inside now. Good, good open space here. So what did you notice? What did you feel walking in? It's a little bit tighter. Okay, so it's the ceiling height. Yeah, it's eight feet. It's eight feet. Mm. Over there it's nine feet. Yeah. So I mean, not a crazy difference. But you do, you know, for tall people, you do kind of feel it a little bit, right? Uh, but then again, it's a ten thousand dollar upgrade. And you also really don't know, right? Like if the, you don't really go into that one, you come in here, you're gonna be like, "This is beautiful." Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't know the difference. But so KB uses this home as um, a model of how the house is gonna come. The flooring obviously is upgraded, um, but it's gonna be carpet. So carpet comes pretty much everywhere except the wet areas. So the wet areas is gonna be your kitchen, where your washer and dryer are, and then the bathrooms, of course. Mm. So biggest thing is this is what you're gonna get almost at all KB homes. You're gonna get these white cabinets with the satin knobs, and then this is the type of countertop you're gonna get. This is their saw and pepper, which I think is really nice. And then of course, always what's included is you're gonna get the microwave, stove, and then you're gonna have the dishwasher included. So. There's a couple little things that when we start talking upgrades, like what upgrades should I do? What should I not do? This depends how much money you want to spend, but anything that I say is structural. So like this comes with this type of sink, but if it comes with a farmhouse sink or you, let's say you want the farmhouse sink, I would do that upgrade with them because that's structural that's in here and they're going to give you a warranty on it. Mm, I like that farmhouse sink. I do too. Yeah, I love it. come with this, right? So, so right. Yeah, so it's just going to be pretty much open. Correct. Unless the house is modeled um, with the sink and the uh, island, it'll come with it. That's another thing, too. So if you see an island and it has a sink in it, then that house is definitely going to come with it because that plumbing is already built in. Perfect. I know we, we kind of talked about the backyard in the last one, but I do want to show this backyard just because the size of it. It gets bigger. Yeah, this one's a lot bigger. Right, because the house is going to be a little bit smaller. So yeah, so a figure five, eight feet. Yeah, about eight feet. About I would say about eight feet that you gain. And then like compared to the single story one. And then a single story. So I would say this is probably a solid 40, 43, yeah, 44 feet. feet. Yeah. Some right here. Hey, there he is. Oh, okay, only two. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be sweating. Bro. But hey, I mean, this is big. Yeah. I, you can even put like a baseball net up here with your kids, so. Oh, uh, you, yeah, you could have a pool. You could still have a nice patio done to it, like one of those nice aluminum wood patios. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, we're gonna be checking out the smallest model here at KB Homes in Homeland. Tell us a little bit about this model, man. 
So this is your one story here. These are like in the mid four, high 400s. Uh, let's just go in here real quick. I wanna uh, kind of point out like an island that has a sink in there that's gonna be um, included and in the backyard. All right, let's do it. So the entrance is totally different here. Tighter, right? And then you're gonna fill it. But it's still 2,000 square feet. And you know what? When you walk into the kitchen, living room area, it's spacious. I like it too, actually. So how we were talking about the sink being here. So this island will be here for this model. It's mm -hmm. not an upgrade because the plumbing's already there. Gotcha. But I mean, check this out. It's still spacious. Yeah. So here, the way I look at model homes, if you have a breakdown of where they can comfortably put the dining table, have separation, to the living room, that's when you know it's a good open floor plan, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I have not been in this model myself, just because I know he knows it really well, but I was not expecting this. I, I thought it was gonna be a lot tighter. I know the backyard's gonna be a little bit tighter, so we can go check that out. And I do wanna show you guys the master of this one after. So, big difference, right? Yeah, so here you're talking, I would say probably 15 feet. 15, 17 feet, yeah? Yeah. Which here, you have furniture, you still have a table. I mean, if you're thinking, hey, I wanna have a party or something. All right, think about tables being lined up. You got a little jump, um, maybe not a jumper, but you got some tables yeah, lined up. Maybe not a jumper. Little kid ones, the um, toy for top, yeah, no, not yeah, toy for yeah. top, but other uh, playground ones. So, I mean, still doable, right? backyard space you really need. Exactly. Let's check out the master real quick. The last thing I can show you guys. And, and the reason, guys, the reason we're not showing you guys everything in the house is just because most rooms are going to be pretty standard. Well, the stuff that stands out is going to be kitchen, living room, and then obviously the master. So, this one, this one feels good still. It's it still feels good size. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Like you have this on the side. This is probably not a cow king, but it's just a regular king. And then remember too, like the model homes, you got designers, right? They come in here, they put the like biggest furniture they can stick in here. I never understand that, you know, like you probably don't use this, you know what I mean? So figure that being gone, it's going to open it up more. Yeah. And then it goes into, you have the double sink. Yeah. That's actually a really nice double sink combo. It's, they have the middle there for like a makeup area. I love that. And then this is one, a perfect example of not having the shower tub combo. It's just gonna be a big shower. And they're actually roomy like, I'm, you know, I'm six feet tall, I'm a big dude. And I feel comfortable, it's bigger than the one I have at home. Yeah, you're making me and Justin look bad saying you're six feet tall. <laughs> just because we're just a little under. Um, no guys, I mean, walking into this model, um, I did not expect this. I kind of love that it was kind of like a blind reaction for me. Good. Uh, because I was not expecting this for the price and where it's at, like, I, I believe this is a great option for a lot Absolutely. of families that want single family. I mean, a uh, single story. All right, guys. So this is a poppy community. These one stories, they start in the high 400s. The middle second story goes into the low 500s. And then the biggest one story, you're at about 540. So they have homes that are not modeled. They can't model everything, right? Yeah. They got to build these out. So they do have homes kind of in between for each one and those would be different price points. The biggest thing here though, like I said, is no HOA, a lower tax rate, it's 1.7, and then the proximity of the schools. Yeah, affordability, beautiful homes. I absolutely love it. Guys, if you guys are looking to purchase a home out here in the homeland area, send us a message. There's gonna be a link in our description to book a 15 minute call. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with somebody that's looking to buy a home in this area.